So we're gonna have some fun today at Whitetail Golf Club, coming up next. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna have a little bit of fun. We're gonna hang out with Frank and Brian, my two golf buddies, and we're here at Whitetail Golf in Bath, Pennsylvania. And as you can see behind me, the course is it's pretty nice. So we're gonna have some fun today and see how we do. Um, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and welcome. Uh, if it's your first time here, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing and turning notifications on so that you know whenever we release new content. And if you do like this video, guys, please like and share it with your friends. It'll really help out the channel. So we're just waiting on Frank and Brian, and then we're going to tee it up and have some fun. Okay guys, so we're at Whitetail Golf <clears throat> and we're on number 10. Number 10 is a par 5 and it looks a little something like this. So we're going to have a little bit of fun today. We're going to do a 5 club challenge with Brian. Brian's going to get his putter automatically and he's going to have to pick 4 random balls out of this bag and that determines which clubs he gets to use on this hole. And uh, once he uses a club, he can't use it again until he's used all 4 of the other clubs. So. All right, Brian, oh, yeah. here we go. Pick your first ball. Six. Six, okay. Good. 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 Four. Four. Hybrid. Hybrid. <laughs> Pitching wedge. All right. Well, that's it. And that's, that's it. That's it. All right. Six. Six hybrid four and pitching wedge. All right, guys, okay. here we go. Let's see how he does. Let's see if he can make par. Four, All right, so what are you going with for the first shot? Hybrid. First hybrid, shot. okay. It's coming back. Not bad. It's playable. Good. 295 to the middle. 295 to the middle. So what are you thinking the four iron now? I don't know. I might. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to strategize here. Well, what do you got? A four, a six, and a pitching wedge, right? Yeah. Your four will get you about, what, 190 yards out? 195? Yeah, about 190. Uh, the six will probably do you at, what, like 160, 170? So. Yeah, I think the, the six might be the call. that played well. Good shot. A little Frank here. A little Frank action. It's nice to put the draw line. What's the yardage there, One, Brian? 118 to the middle. 118 to the middle? Probably, when, probably about that to the pin. Maybe 120 or so to the pin. Okay. 
Very cool. Right, so obviously it's wet. <laughs> obviously. Bumping around the four iron up there. Yeah, it, it landed right in the middle of the green and just stopped, which is great. I'll take it. I don't know, I have to make this challenge a little harder next time, guys. Maybe we'll do a three club challenge for Brian. He's 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 owning this. <laughs> owning it. Oh, he's gonna putt with the with the four iron. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh. God. <laughs> Almost got the bird. Better than the other holes I did. A little creativity and yeah, right. Can actually play better. There you go. I had to think about those shots a lot. Well, that's the thing, right? So, like, it's a lot of course management. So, what does it prove? It proves that you don't always have to hit the long ball every time, right? Yeah. You play the shot that you know you can hit and commit to it, and it's the result, result you want. That's right, guys. You don't have to hit the long ball every single time. Course management, smart golf. We appreciate you guys coming to hang out with us today. If you like this video, please like and share it with your friends. It really helps out the channel. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Oh, yeah.